my Miller matrix, okay? This is uh, described uh, very well in the literature, so I will pass this test also. Sorry. Uh, uh, here. Okay, my laser, that was the characteristics of my laser. I will pass very fast also. The spectrometer, this is the, the, the feature of my, my equipment. Galvo system was used to leave my sample still and I was just moving my, my light beam. I have developed that, uh, a software to make these measurements. We use a polarimeter to, uh, to assure the, the, inc the, the incident light. You remember that I have um, fixed uh, light that I was putting into my, my setup. And the sample was I have used uh, scotch tape, okay, because scotch tape has a, has a periodic structure and also uh, presents by refringence. So this is the reason that I have used scotch, scotch tape. This is, is uh, this is uh, a schematic uh, view of my my setup. So let me just translate. This is a ref reference mirror, optical compensator, light source, uh, half wave plate and quarter wave plate, spectrometer and the sample. Okay, here is a photo of of it. So. Just remember, one, remembering this one more time, this is my incoming beams, and this is the way how I, I measure my, my Stokes vectors out, okay? So this was the way that I, 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 I tune my incoming beam, like tuning these elements, okay? And to measure, I was tuning the optical compensator and then I have the, the kind of reference and incoming beam that I needed. Okay, this is another uh, software that we have developed to, to calculate the Miller matrix. This is the final image. This is the Miller matrix of the scotch tape. Okay, and we have some features that I will talk about like this one is very clear in this element the the by refringence okay you can see like a wave uh, going through inside my my sample and this is due to the the by refringence okay i have here the first one is the ordinary oct oct image is just a scattering and so on so now the decomposition, why to do it? Okay, we would like to, to separate some features of, of uh, our sample, like, um, like a, a linear combination of, uh, array li of uh, matrices that I have a previous knowledge, okay? So if I take the first, first uh, Miller matrix, like if I take the value of the first pixel, the value of the second pixel, and etc., I will have the first Miller matrix, and then with uh, the matrices A, B, and C, and D that uh, I have chose, okay, I will, I will, I will change my coefficients, coefficients uh, A, B, and C, and D, to represent this this Miller matrix, okay. So I have thousands of Miller matrices inside this image, and I will try to decompose each one of them. Okay, I I, I have uh, done this software in lab view uh, environment it was like very brutal force uh, algorithm. So I took something like the computer took something like four days of processing and we used these these uh, matrices to to decompose okay so that 
that's the result. So the here we have the the a was the coefficient that was multiplying my horizontally placed uh, matrix, okay, Miller matrix. B was this the vertically and C and so on. And here I have the av average of this this these uh, images. So why uh, why I chose this uh, this um, this matrices was kind of arbitrary uh, option or, or chose. Okay, this was just like a preliminary uh, measurement. So in the future we want you to to choose this kind of uh, matrices to decompose with more cr criteria. That's because I, it, in this way, like imagine imagine that I have a sample uh, sample image, okay, a Miller matrix sample image, a uh, skin image, and then I can try to decompose it uh, like uh, the first matrix over here could be the fat ma matrix, the second one, the blood matrix, okay? Just an example to il illustrate. So this is just a first step, okay? So conclusions, we have done, uh, make, or we have made uh, a ca uh, uh, set up capable of measuring and calculate the, the Miller matrix. We have some trouble with the laser. The spectral uh, stability of the laser was not that good. The scotch tape was a good uh, sample to perform some tests. The decomposition works well, but too too slow. So we, we need to improve this. And per as a perspective, we want to try to find some standards, okay, or something that have uh, the Miller matrices very well defined and in the future also to choose as I, I have said with more experience and criteria that that matrices that I will use in the decomposition. Thank you for your attention and thank you for this financial for the financial support of these institutions. Thank you. Bye-bye.